on everybody dj go ham here welcome back to the channel it's five some bills man today we've got 28 pc mods of testing only got one console mod of testing with all those 19 mods were released today a2 studios fertilizer spreader is getting close to release said modding's got some new liquid tanks jhhg modding has released the updates to their s700 and s600 contra Comiga modding have an old pickup truck from chevrolet the sr modding are working on some mac mods for farm sim 22 df 2020 modding is adding some stuff to the prices menu. Maze Plus got an update today, but there's still one thing you need to know about. Mappers Paradise have something that I have no idea what it is. MRG Mapping talks about why Lincoln Creek version 2 is not out yet. GB Modding is updating, adding a park. Plus, Edo Mod's got some new screenshots for Map Italia, and I don't know what to do with them. Let's check it out. In Testy for PC, we have 82 Studio 6 Ton Fertilizer Spreader, Agrimed P431 and P441, Adding and Park, Automatic Storage, Bead Harvester Add On, Bikeler Farm, Big Turtle Saddle Tanks, BR6090, Brick Pig Husbandry, Carousel, Corner Shed, Noise Far Agrilux, Flags of German Federal States, John Deere 1775 NT, Crone Round Pack 1250 Multicut, Hume KTR 18500, Laverda M3. 3XO MC SLC, Massey Ferguson 6S, Net Wrap, Older Style 5 Ton, Placeable Log Bridge Pack, Price Table Extension, Railroad Crossing, Water Pipe, Wilski Pola, Wood Chipper Trailer, Wooey Agrotechnic Bell Fork Pack, and a map that starts with a Z that has way too many vowels. And your only modded test C4 console players today is the Reich 120. With all that being said, we still have three mod city waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting tough newly submitted mods is one workday. In addition to the mods of testing, 19 new and updated mods were released today on the in-game mod hub, including the new TARDIS, the Agronopolis map, and an update to Maze Plus. I've already made a video showing these off, you can find that video linked to the first pinned comment and description below. After the upload to mod hub on Friday, A2 Studios 6 ton fertilizer spreader is in the first stage of testing today. Here you can see it shown with Julian F. Monning's workhorse tractor getting some work done. This fertilizer spreader has tons of customization, just like you're used to seeing from A2 Studio, and will be for all platforms once released. Trucker Matsy, good friend of the channel, has actually already made a first look video showing this mod off, so make sure you drop by his YouTube channel and check that video out. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Also, don't forget that A2 Studio will be streaming for 24 hours this Saturday. He's going to be finishing the TLX 3500 mod and sending it off for testing live during that stream. So. Make sure you tune in. Sid Monning has also made a mod on the testing list right now, the Big Turtle Saddle Tanks. These will be new liquid tanks to fit on the front of the John Deere 9030, 9020, 8060, and the 9R once they're released. Oh yeah, and the Challenger MT900, but that's gonna need an update. The um, John Deere tractors, they've already got the update just fine. This is gonna hold 3,786 liters of liquid fertilizer. It costs you $15,000. You can see the upcoming update for the John Deere X9 in some of these screenshots in the background as well. Speaking of big John Deere combines, JHHG Modding has released their John Deere S700 and S600 series updates for PC players, which include new 3D tracks from ATI, Goodyear, Susi, and John Deere, and features true 4K textures and details, unlike the Mod Hub version, which is a lower detailed version that's made to work on all platforms with consoles in mind. If you want to use the highest detailed version of this mod on PC, then check out the links in the description Yes, series downloads. While we're talking about JHHG modding and SID modding, I want to take a moment to thank them for sending over their latest collaboration, the Tchaikovsky Uproar Puzzava Mod Pack. It was a true honor to be able to show those mods off, and I'm really excited for you guys, the community, to get your hands on the mod pack as well. Contra Kamiga Modding have officially sent off their Chevrolet D20 pickup truck for testing for all platforms. If you guys are on console, this will be the Lizard D20 for you guys, so heads up there. This mod will feature tire options, door animations, and custom sounds. It was sent off for testing late last night, so hopefully we will see it on the testing list tomorrow. BSR Modding look to be getting into the Farming Simulator 22 spirit and are already working on a Mac mod for 22, the Mac R. These trucks were introduced in the early 1960s and the production ran for them for 40 years until being discontinued by Mac in the mid 2000s. This real life variant featured engine options between 200 and 440 horsepower. I'm sure VSR will give it some like 8,000 horsepower engine as they normally do. Uh, the mod will be also available in different colors. Very exciting to see Mac mods being worked on right now. And I can tell you guys that I know for a fact this will not be the only Mac mod that we're getting. It may not be from them, it would definitely be from someone else that you know. So stay tuned. They'll be announcing all the Farming Simulator 22 mods that modders have been working on 
has them in made public. On the mod list today, you probably saw the mod Price Table Extension. This is a new mod for PC and Mac only by TF2020 Mods, formerly known as Holger Sandstock. This new mod extends the price of the stock overview to include missing standard field types in the prices screen. For example, things like wheat or barley are labeled, but things like fertilizer and things like that are not. So this mod's gonna be adding these following things to the prices menu. Seeds, water, diesel, fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, digestate, big food, lime, and herbicide. Keep an eye out for this one, once released, probably in the next few days. Today we got updates for the Maze Plus and the Animal Food Additions that go with it to work properly with the Beat Mod, which had a conflict. However, as you saw from the testing list, the Beat Mod has yet to be updated itself. Therefore, the update to Animal Food Maze Plus Additions will not work yet, at least with the Beat Mod. It needs to be updated until the Beat Mod updates as well, and that's been released. You still can't use the two together, so do keep that in mind. This conflict is only on PC mods, so console players don't have to worry about it because you don't have access to either one of these mods. And I want to say thank you to the Alien Ball for hitting me up this morning and letting me know. Mapper's Paradise look to be working on some new sort of Bell Shredder mod, maybe? But I can't really tell what they're up to. And it's made even more confusing because they tagged Case IH International and Harvest 2020 in their post, which I don't think any of those have anything to do with this. Maybe you guys know what it is. If you do, drop it in the comment section below. Let's get this figured out. Players have been looking forward to Lincoln Creek version 2 for a few weeks now, and MRG Mapping has released the reason why LCV2 hasn't been released yet. They're still trying to implement an entirely new system that no map has ever had before. Ditches that need to be cleaned out every season. This would bring an entirely new system into the game, would make construction equipment actually useful for once in gameplay other than just roleplay. This is being worked on right now, but not by MRG, but one of his teammates passed it off, so hopefully we'll have it soon. This sounds like a really neat idea. I can't wait to see how it's implemented. GB Modding has also been working on an update, this one to adding a park, and that update is in the testing list as we speak. I don't know everything about this update, unfortunately, but we do know one thing, that this update will be introducing the option to remove the hedge collisions. Since they're causing so many problems, people trying to drive through them and stuff like that, quit driving through hedges. This is a feature that will be available for all platforms. However, he's also added GPS to contract vehicles for PC players only. So that should make getting contracts done a whole lot easier. And lastly, today we've got some new screenshots from Edo Mod's Mappa Italia, this time from the Masseria Parma region on the map. This is something that he's been working on as a new mod for Farming Simulator 22, which is fantastic. You know how beautiful and detailed Mappa Italia already is on Farm Sim 19, right? Well, just imagine how grand it's gonna be on Farm Sim 22 with only, or not only the updates for the map itself, but also what we know about Farm Sim 22, which is gonna be bringing to the table new crops, new features, and new ways to play the game. Map Italia is going to be one of the great maps for Farm Sim 22. I can already tell. And I can already tell that this outro knew it was going to be an outro before I said the outro that knew about being a segue to this outro. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. No release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video. Please refer to previous episodes or the most current status of those projects. And make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the Go Ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. We will be live streaming on Saturday. I'm going to be streaming the Childhood Cancer versus Farming Simulator live stream, as well as I'll be doing some stuff with A2 Studio during the day on Saturday. It's going to be a big full day of Farming Simulator stuff. You don't want to miss it. I'll be sad. I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. So my weekend trip went great. Uh, I don't know where my hat is, but I'll just put a jar of peanut butter up here.